We are going to open up this EVSE by watt saving. It's an AC EV charger and it looks to be a very good quality and a very good option if you are looking for one for charging at home. This is a level two unit. It maxes out at 40 amps, which means you would need a 50 amp breaker. Just a little disclaimer, I did already open it to make sure that all the components were in there and they were, but I packaged it back up. So it will come packaged a little bit neater than what I have it packaged here. I tried to put everything back the way that it was, um, but you know that never goes exactly right. It was very well packaged and you'll get to see the type of materials they use to, to package this and that you won't have any problems when you open it. And here is the booklet. And as you can see, this is really dense, thick foam. This is really good packaging material. Really impressed by this. Now, getting this all out of here, sometimes you need a little assistance, but I've already had this out once, so it's a little easier to get it out the second time. We will move this box out of the way. There we go. So let's lay it down this way. Now, like I said, this is gonna be packaged a little bit better than this. Um, I tried to put it back together the best I could. Anyway, uh, this is your mounting plate um, for the wall that you are gonna be mounting on. This is your holder for your cord. That will mount also into onto the wall wherever you are going to mount this. Now let's check this out. Look at this cord. Wow, this is really nice. Um, this handle is very very nice. Um, a lot heavier duty than um, some of the other ones that I have seen. Um, you can probably hear that. That nice click there, that is really impressive. Really nice, heavy, sturdy handle. Uh, very thick cord, it's very durable. Hopefully it does really well in the cold. Now let's see what the unit looks like. I'll open this up. Nice, it's a good size. It's not huge by any means. I'll turn this around so you guys can see it. So you have your NEMA 1450 plug here. Take this off. And it's nice and covered. So it's protected there. Looks really good. It's not real long. Probably wouldn't hurt if these cords were just a little bit longer, um, but I think they're all pretty much about the same length. Now I will have more info up on the screen as we're doing this so that you guys can see some of the numbers and, and information about this. So right now I'm just wanting to show you what it looks like. Uh, the cord, it, like I said, the cord is very good um, and very thick, a lot thicker than my temporary cord. And this handle is very impressive, I like that. And this really is a lightweight. This is really lightweight, um, really good. There's a reset button on the side, that's nice. Um, other than that, it will just hook right inside. You can see these little tabs right here. And when you mount it on the wall, then this will just go into those slots and just slide up like that and hold it onto the wall. So as you can see, our current charging solution is actually a portable charger that we have mounted here. And we do have a NEMA 1450 outlet that is actually under our porch. And we are, and we are using this heavy duty extension cord. And you can see how thick this cord is. This is rated for EV charging. And it's about a 10 foot cord that we're using to run that out here for now until we actually get our full installation the rest of the way to the side of the garage. 
and this is going to be a huge part of that. So we are gonna mount this where we want it to stay, and that way it's already in position when we run our new line. And this charger by Watt Saving is rated at IP65, so it is good for indoor and outdoor use. I have a 25 foot tape measure. So let's see what we get. Looks like 24 and a half feet is about right around the handle. So I'm guessing it is the core that goes up into the handle. That is what is 24 and a half inches. To the tip of the handle, you are right at 25 feet. So this is a 40 amp EVSE, which other people call it a charger. So just because people call it a charger, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a charger just to make things easier. So this is a 40 amp max, which means you need a 50 amp breaker. It will output a max of 9.6 kilowatts. So that is going to give you, depending on your car and the efficiency of your car, you should get charging speeds of around 30 to 32 miles per hour. Could be a few miles per hour, more or less, depending on your vehicle. So this comes with tools to install this inside your garage. If you have drywall in your garage, it comes with instructions on how to mount that on drywall. So you have drywall plugs and screws to go with that. Now we are gonna be mounting this out here on the side of our house. And since I have to go through vinyl siding and some other barrier on the other side, I will be using these two and a half inch long wood screws to mount this to the side of our house. So for us, what we wanna do is we wanna find the exact placement that we wanna put this. Now what that means is, you can see I don't have the extension cord pulled stretched out all the way, but I will for this installation because I wanna know exactly where I'm going to put my NEMA 1450 plug when I move it from underneath the porch over to the side of the house. So we are going to figure out exactly where we want this. So we figured out exactly where we want to have this mounted and it's going to be right here. So what we are going to do is we are gonna take our screws and we are gonna install this plate right here and then we will attach, plug it in, get it all set up. So we are gonna put these little tabs right here in the top and in the bottom, and that will secure that on here. Bottom one's in, top one's in, slide it down, and there it goes. It's in there, nice and sturdy. Awesome. Now that we have that secured on there, one last little piece, they give you a tiny little screw it's going to go in this slot, this hole right back here, and that will make it so that no one can remove this off of here. That in there, and we're going to go slowly. There we go. Good. Now we've got that all locked in there. Not going to come off. Now, got that part of it done. We are going to plug in. Okay, so let's plug it in and let's see what we got. Okay, so we have a purple light. Purple means it's in standby mode, so we should be good to go. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to plug in and see if it actually charges. All right, let's plug it in, see what we get plugged in blue on the car we are charging that's awesome and it is flashing green flashing green means that it is charging if it's solid green it means you're all charged up 
Okay, so now that we have this all mounted right here, now we're gonna put our cord holder up. So let's put this about right here, and that will be good. We can do that, and we can wrap it all the way around here, and it'll be in a good spot. Just like that, there you go. It's all wound up, ready to use whenever you're ready to charge. If you live in an area that's pretty EV heavy and you have one of these mounted outside like we do and you don't want someone to pull up, plug in and charge on your charger, they've got a pretty cool solution to that. And that is these RFID tags. Now, you, what you do is you put these on your keychain, and when you pull up, all you have to do is come over here and tap it against the spot that says card on it, and that will unlock the charger so that you can plug in your car and start charging. Once you have that set up, only people who have the RFID tag can initiate the charging. That way you don't have people stealing your power while you're not home or at night when you don't see them. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up right now. Okay, to set up the RFID, what you wanna do is you have your RFID tag here. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna press the reset button on the side until this turns orange. And so you're gonna hold it in, hold it in. When it goes orange, then you wanna hold your card against that and then that will, it will turn purple again, and then that will initiate your RFID tags. Now, your, if you have two tags, it will automatically connect the second one. If you don't want to use the RFID tags, it is already set up for plug and charge. All right, so there you go. This is the Watt Savings. They are a company out of China, and they are now in the US. This model, is the first one that they have for the US. The model number is US10. Now it is not for sale yet. It will be for sale soon and you will be able to purchase it on Amazon. I will add an Amazon affiliate link in the description below as soon as it is available for sale. It should be somewhere around the end of March, beginning of April, but I will tag that down below in the comments and I'll also put it as a pinned comment and make it easy for you guys to find so that you can order this for yourselves.